Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been quite a while and I'm so happy to be back with a new video. I'm currently online in Chick-fil-A because I've been craving the market salads. That's the first thing that I love from Chick-fil-A and then they came up with their honey pimento pepper sandwich. But I was I'm not feeling that. I really miss their market the market salads. They're so good. So I'm here currently in line to get one and just talk to you guys about everything that's going on and all about my first job and just yeah, just updating you guys on what's going on. But it's fall and the weather is. Perfect. I'm hoping to get into some fall festivities this year, crossing my fingers because uh, everything about my life in every aspect, emotionally, physically, financially, has been not good and I had to force myself to actually get the house and film a video because I knew that I would get so down and depressed so hopefully me getting out for this short period of time will help me but yeah I'm hoping to do a lot this year be that the weather is nice and uh, I just hope everything works out for the best but if you guys are new to my channel don't forget to like and subscribe welcome for all my new subscribers and welcome back to those who have been with me since the beginning i really appreciate every single one of you guys um so i will check in with you guys whenever i get my food all right you guys i got the food uh this may come as a shock to you guys i mean or not i don't know but uh, for those who are new to my channel, um, I love Diet Coke, diet soda, well, this is diet, anything, I love it. Um, I also love coffee, um, obsessed. But this time I actually got a water because I have been a bit dehydrated, not a bit, I've been a lot dehydrated and I feel I feel like it's because I don't drink enough water. I mostly consume energy drinks, coffee, and diet soda. So I did get a water. I feel like my body just needs it right now. And yeah, so I got my salad. I usually just hook it up with my extra fixings at home. But I figured I want to do this mukbang for you guys. So I'll just. I'll just do without this time. So I got a market salad with light Italian dressing. I got it with the warm, um, warm nuggets. Add egg because the market salad does not come with egg. Let me scoop back a little bit. Oh, okay. You're gonna hear the AC but looks amazing um, and besides like even if I had a taste for the honey pepper pimento sandwich I've already did that video you know so for those who are new to my channel and want to see that video of me trying out the honey pepper pimento sound from chick-fil-a you guys can just go on my vi on my channel for that i've already did it and i wouldn't have filmed i would not be filming if i had a taste for it and i got it i would not be filming because i mean you guys don't want to see that again right you guys can just go to that video but I never use all the dressing because I feel like I don't need all the dressing. 
Um, but let's see what we can do here. Oh, and I also got a small, a small fry. Um, so I'm just gonna add my fixings on here. It comes with roasted almonds, which I love, nuts. And almost everything. And it comes with harvest nut granola. So I always add all this stuff on here. It looks, I don't know. Oh, it's because of my sunglasses. I was, I was gonna say it looks like it's gonna rain. But it's just my sunglasses. So how have you guys been doing? I don't wanna like Before you guys start thinking, oh, I'm such an everything's going so great for me. It's not, but I try to pretend and make the best of every situation, <laughs> no matter how I feel about it. But I definitely missed you guys, and I didn't want to take a very long hiatus again. I was worried about that. I don't know if you guys checked on the community page and saw that I posted. Um, I posted on my, on my computer. I posted on the community page about you know me not filming as much because of my new job and everything, and just me not knowing how it was all gonna work out. And for you guys to bear with me, but you guys should start looking at the community post because I will be utilizing that a lot actually so just to give you guys updates on what's going on if I'm not filming or if you guys just don't hear from me for a while you guys can resort to that to get all the updates and stuff or not but yeah. <sighs> the Kardashian salad. <laughs> I don't even watch the Kardashians, but there is this lady on TikTok and she does the perfect imitations of the Kardashians. She is so funny and so on point. I'll put some on the screen her TikTok. Her TikTok handle. But she's always doing this. Oh, it's so funny. Anyways, uh, my body is mad at me right now. But let's get into this food. Oh, I've got to get Chick fil A sauce. Darn it. But I don't know why, but every single time I get a salad, I always feel like I do get at least a small fry.
love a good salad. I love seafood. Well, some seafood, not all. But I would totally choose a good salad over a shrimp dinner, a lobster dinner. The thing I love most about the market salad is that they put fruit in here. Apples, um, blueberries, and um, strawberries. I think it's a strawberry. It's like the best of both worlds. I get my fruit and the salad. <laughs> I tried the cop salad, don't like it. Um, they have a spicy, um, cob, but I never tried that because, I mean, a spicy salad. Oh, the spicy southwest. Not spicy cob. The cob, and then the spicy southwest. I've never, i never tried the spicy southwest because it doesn't really appeal to me. All right. So, for those who are new to my channel, um, I work at Target, but I took up a second job working at P.F. Chang's as a hostess. Day one of training, Let me tell you. It was so nerve wracking. Cause I had to learn how to take uh, orders over the phone. Mm. Deal with any issues that someone may have when they're calling the store with their order learning about, you know, table, the tables and the celebration table placement. The servers and the sections that they're covering. <laughs> I take reservations over the phone. Um, dealing with, you know, if the if the customers have to have, have, have to wait. setting up the tables with plates and silverware. Um, it was definitely a lot um, the first three days because I still had to learn all that stuff and it was very overwhelming. So those three days for me were the, were the hardest. I don't know whether it's because I just wanted to 
want it to be perfect. I just want it to burn so quickly. I want it to. I guess in my head, I didn't want to give myself any room for it to make any mistakes, even though it's my first restaurant job. I'm gonna make mistakes, but I didn't want to allow myself to make mistakes because of the fact that I do be so hard on myself. But what made it so much better is those that trained me. So I'm not the only host hostess. It usually there's usually two hostess uh, for um, lunch and then dinner. So so far I haven't been alone on a shift, but I'm pretty sure there'll be there'll be times where I will. five hours, five, three to 10. And the manager always, the managers, cause there's two, oh, there's three actually, there's three managers. Um, so whoever's the manager on the shift always let me go, let the hostesses go early. What I realized is that the first hour and a half, maybe two hours of my shift, is usually the, you know, when it's busy. And then after that, it's just smooth sailing. It's just easy from, from, from that point on. I like the managers. They all three of them have different personalities. There's two male and one female. They have different personalities. One's more laid back, outgoing. Another's more quiet, professional. You know, talk slow. Talk very low. <laughs> And I really haven't talked to the female one yet, but she seems really cool. I like my coworkers so far. I think I've adapted to their, you know, their personalities. Um, there are some that. I will not be talking to because like I don't know you know so but I get along with all the other hostess so the very first day it was a bit awkward because I just didn't really know what I could do, what I couldn't do. Um, but if it's really, really slow, like I don't have to like stand at the desk the entire time, I can just sit down, which is great. When the chef from the back came up to like approach me, and he was like, hey, we have a family meal in the kitchen if you want some. And I was hungry. I mean, majority of that day. And I figured, like, since I was new, I want to be like, oh, no. I want to be, like, completely standoffish. Because I don't know them. They don't know me. So I accepted it. 
the family meal is like something that's cooked in the kitchen, like in one big pot that everyone can get some. Wow, that's a good idea. I cannot imagine myself like eating that constantly. I would get so tired of it, and my body, to be honest with you, is not used to that, you know, kind of food. Look like at my body. It's literally smiling right now. <laughs> I feel like it really needed water. <clears throat> I only took like a few bites of it and I was like, okay, I don't want it anymore. <laughs> so I went back to the kitchen to figure out like how can I dispose of this? <laughs> Cause from what I could see I didn't, didn't see a garbage can anywhere. There was this other guy, it was also his first day. I'm not naming names, but it's his first day being a server assistant. And I was just like looking around to figure out like where's the garbage can or just like what kind of cook those. And he looked at me, he stared at me, but I noticed he stared at me, but I was just like looking around to figure out like where can I just put this? When he approached me, he was like, hi, how are you? Like, what's, like, he was like, um, oh God, what did he say? He was like, hi, like, I don't believe, I don't believe we met. How are you? And blah, blah, blah. And I was like, hi. I was like, um, do you know where I could put this? <laughs> So he showed me like the garbage, whatever I can put in. And let me tell you, from that point on, every single time we were on the same shift together, so obvious, so obvious, like a dog can spot this. So obvious, like he would constantly be hitting on me. Who's asking me if I have if I have social media? I have a phone number. I'm like, dude. I can't go anywhere and do anything without some guy. Allowing his lust to distract him from his job, you know, <laughs> or my job. Not gonna lie, he's cool. We've had a few deep conversations. But I don't know him, he doesn't know me. I take everything with a grain of salt. He's a nice guy, but I don't know him. I'm definitely not looking to date.
But yeah, but ever since that moment, he's just... <sighs> he comes off very strong. It doesn't bother me. I just ignore it. When it comes to talking to guys or you know whatever there's one thing that remains constant there's a pattern that happens the only care about the outside but they never really care about personality or moral or values or I have no, I don't know what it, it is, but when it comes to a guy that is just, I don't say infatuated with me, but one thing comes to mind, I'm like, you have no standards. <laughs> Am I impressed? No. To be honest with you, guys tell me all the time, oh, I'm cute. oh, you're cute, you're beautiful, you're pretty. I like thanks. <laughs> so at the end of the day, it's just all words. And at my, at the age that I am, words don't do it for me anymore. At all. So you can keep talking. I just continue to be observant. <clears throat> I definitely hate when you meet someone and it sounds like they're trying to convince you of the type of person that they are or aren't. That they're trying to sell themselves to you. Because usually people who, who do that, they tend to be the complete opposite. I've noticed that a lot. For me, I feel like I don't need to do all that. You will eventually head on to my personality. How I handle things. I don't need to give you like an introduction. He asked me if I smoked. I said no. And then he was like, Oh, yeah, smoking is so bad for you, blah, blah. And I was just like, Dude. <laughs> it's very entertaining, that's for sure. 
brand new. But as my training went on, I started to adapt. It started to become a little easier. I didn't learn the table numbers. Thank God. Because whenever Gemma, the other hostess would tell me to take the, the party over to table 36, I would be counting. I'd be like, what? <laughs> I'd be counting. <laughs> I just hope with all that I'm trying to do I just hope that it pays off and I just hope I'm not wasting my time. I hope this is not just another job that I'm putting all my energy into. I think it's like a job just for fun. Because honestly, who wants to work two jobs, you know? You do it because you feel like you have to. So I just hope I don't regret doing all this. Because every single time I make a decision that I feel like it's the best for me, it always ends up being the wrong freaking decision. But I killed my salad, guys. Killed it. Killed it, killed it, killed it. And I'm not full at all. Like <laughs> my stomach is like this big, right? I think the food capacity in my stomach is like literally like right here. You see all this room in this in this space. When you've spent years training your training your stomach, when you spent years training your body, it's not get so full so quickly. It definitely helps. Now I mean, I feel these fries that maybe a bit full, but. I do like working there. It's very easy. Tomorrow, I'll work both Target and PF Chains. I didn't get any sauce. That feels better. So yeah, I just hope it all pays off. <sighs> Around this time every year, this time forward, it's usually when my depression is really, really bad. Just, just being honest. Like I'm just being very transparent here. I 
could be a lot on your plate, a lot on your mind, a lot to worry about. It's like, you feel like you have no room to just be happy. It's the bold things you're constantly worrying about, the things that are constantly on your mind. Majority of what I'm dealing with, I admit, it's my fault. <laughs> you know, I put myself in situations that I don't see in the long run as being my downfall. So I'm trying to make it right right now. Right now, I'm trying to make it right. And do all the times where I just wanted to fill a void. But it just seems like no matter how hard you try, like what's the result? No. I start thinking to myself, <clears throat> I have this I'm dealing with, and also the fact that I literally, I'm literally back living with my ex. Like, even though me doing that is, I feel like it's the best for me. But if you th really think about it, like, <laughs> like, damn. <laughs> Those moments where you feel like you're just moving backwards. Before I move on to the next subject, would you guys date someone who still lived with their ex? Honest question. Would you guys date someone who still lived with their ex? So me and this um, server assistant was like talking. It was like, oh, so slow. It was around like 8.30ish. Maybe going at 8. And, um, I was single, I was like, yeah. And blah, 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 blah. And I told him that I live with my, I live with my ex, you know? Because we, we were talking about, like, uh, like, I brought up the fact that I have a kid and that I live with my ex. Now, you would, I, I assumed that he would back off once I said that, or just step down to just being friendly with me. But no. This dude literally continued on coming like flirting with me and coming on at me and What is your deal? <laughs> I've been single for so many years now that I can easily tell if a guy truly likes me or just has lust. It's just lust. 
because who who's okay with someone dating their ex? Who's okay with someone living with their ex? Let's be real. I would not date a guy who used to live with his ex. I would not. And we have a, and we have a child. So there has to be something more to that kid than I don't know find out too. I always find out. Mm. Yeah, you're such a nice guy. Yeah. Sure. That's why I don't pay half of these men any mind. Curse. They wouldn't go by what they see. I don't, I don't think I could date my, date my co-worker. If I was slightly interested, which I'm completely not. I've learned how to turn feelings off. This is so cringe. I was working a shift, and for, for P.F. Chang's, I do wear a little makeup. Not foundation, not concealer, but a little eyebrow, eyeshadow, lip gloss. Simple. One day he came up to me, he was like, um, I'm sorry, but I have to ask you this. Are you, do you look amazing every single evening? For you, for you, for yourself, or for me. And I was like, "Excuse me." And he repeated it. I was like, "Do I would repeat it?" And I was like, "For me, for me, always. I never do anything for a guy. Always for me." Then he was like. For me, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I was like, oh my god, this this boy. Anywho, it's been a long time coming. Been a long time I am so happy to see Taylor Swift so happy. I appreciate you guys have seen on TikTok, read in the news, seen on TV, it's like literally everywhere. She's dating that football dude. It's nice to see her happy, having fun, living her life. She deserves it. She put in so much hard work and dedication for her fans, for her Swifties. She deserves every good thing that comes her way. Whether she's dating someone or not. I love to see her happy. Now, being that she's dating him. Um, he better treat her like the queen that she is. And no less.
but what really pisses me off is that when people make a big deal out of celebrity couples or famous couples, because some people aren't celebrities, they're just like kind of famous. I'm like, oh, she's a woman dating a man. Let her live. Like, let her be. Y'all need to chill out. Pop open your beer or your frappuccinos or whatever the heck I'll drink. And just calm down. <laughs> I've never like paid so much attention to who's dating who or allegedly this or allegedly that. Honestly, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care about who she's dating or who she's not dating. Because to me, I want her to be happy regardless. And I know her music will always be amazing. Her personality will always be amazing. She will yeah. always is vibe. This is a really good Celsius, but I don't think you got that one quick. Anyways, um, she has not changed or she has not changed at all, even throughout these many years. She's not going to change. Her music will continue to be amazing so that's what I care about whether she's happy in her music that's all I care about I don't care about who she's dating who broke with who who she's seen with who like I just don't care I've never cared so deeply about someone else's life that's not mine when it comes to like relationships and stuff I've always known she would beat me to it, though. <laughs> like, if anyone would, like, find someone that makes that person happy, it would be her. Not me. <laughs> Not me. But I'm so happy for her. I'm still hoping to get tickets to see the Ares Tour in theaters. Maybe not opening night, but like eventually, for as long as you know it's in theaters. So I really want to go see it really badly. I just have to see how my schedule is with Target and PF Chains. I never had Chick Fil A's water. It's pretty good. I mean, it's water. <laughs> That's water. My body needs it, so. I'm definitely gonna make some coffee once I get home. <laughs> All right, you guys. That is it for today's video. My lunch was delicious. Just having a nice light salad is very refreshing on the body. Thank you guys for watching. If you're new, please consider subscribing and liking. If you're new, please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.